Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. C and I'm here to do another review. And as you've seen earlier, it is a Timu fall haul. So I was really excited about this haul because I obviously, as you've seen in my other videos, I love fall. However, I don't know about the rest of you, but I've just been experiencing a lot of, I don't want to say crap, but crap stuff from Timu. And it's making me less and less when I order from them. And honestly, I'm probably going to order less and less. Um, I do have a few things that I've ordered, so I do have a few hauls I'm going to do. But after this, though, I'm not sure how much more I'm going to order from Timu because the quality of my products have just really gone downhill. I will say, though, that Timu is really good about, you know, crediting you back or whatever. But I don't like to do that because... I know that I'm ordering this stuff from overseas, so I know it's, and it's getting thrown in a bag and it's getting tossed around and everything else. So I get that the whole shipping stuff, but at the end of the day, for me, it's like, I'm still paying money for it. Like in some of these items that I'm about to show you, I actually feel like might be close to pricing that you would might find at like Hobby Lobby, especially like when they're having their sales or they're um, like 40% off, 50% off, 60% off on their, their items or decor. But I'm going to go and show you these items anyways. The first one I'm going to start off with are these picks. So these picks I bought, they were $3.49 for one. And you can see they've got like, they have these cute little pumpkins on them. But look at that. You see like on these pumpkins how they're like smushed. Where's that one at? Right here. There it is. You can see how smushed it is. And like see how these are like broken. So they broke off um, and some of these pieces are just falling right off. I mean, it would be super cute. if. It, and I know that like when you go to Hobby Lobby, like you might find them even like this too. So you kind of pick through and find the good ones. So I understand that. So like I said, I'm trying to be understanding because I don't, I'm not one of those people that wants to get a refund. I don't want to do that because I am ordering stuff to do reviews. But on the flip side though, like I said, I just, I don't know for the quality for $3 and 49 cents. Um, I just feel like it could have been a little bit better, but it is still very pretty. Like I love the colors of it. If it wouldn't be for like the broken pieces and like some of these pumpkins being all like a little wonky. I mean, like look at this pumpkin here. Like he's got this black spot. I mean, maybe he's just got a mold problem, I guess. I don't know. We're going to go with it. Like I'm still going to try and use it. So just kind of maybe tuck it in behind something and give it, a, give it use. Um, but anyways, though, so these are the picks. Like I said, I got two of them. They were $3.49 each. And I will link these items in the description down below for you so that you can see them too for yourself or in case you decide you're like, ooh, nope, I don't want to get those. But maybe you saw them and thought they were cutesy. But these are them together. Like I said, I think what I might do is just try to put them maybe in with something else so they kind of blend in a little bit more because their colors are very vibrant. Like, I love them. Like, these are... For me, this is fall right here. Like these colors are, are perfect. It's just, I don't know. Like I said, the quality of like the pumpkins for sure. They just look like they've got really bad mold on them or something. I don't know what's going on with them. And like a lot of these like little ball things are broken on there. So that's just something though. Like I said, you, you have to expect when you're getting stuff shipped from overseas and it's in a bag. I mean, this is... They were in this bag, each one had their own bag, but they were in this bag within a bag. So, and a lot of times too, like I ordered, I did have some other stuff in there that I will do in a separate haul and those items could have smashed too on top of these. So I get it too. Like I'm not like hating on Timo or whatever, but this is just something though that you just have to be cautious about and be understanding of, I guess. The next item I'm going to show you though that I do like from Timu and was a great price. Um, this was $1.71. And this is a beaded a little fall sign. And it says, Happy Fall, y'all. It's got it on the back, too, so it's double-sided. And then it's got the... I just love these colors. I'm really getting into this, like, green. I did that with my Hobby Lobby. I got... But it's a little bit darker green. Um, but I just think this is super cute. And for $1.71, I feel like that's pretty close to... It might be even a little cheaper than what you would have paid at, like, Hobby Lobby, even if they were doing, like, their 40% off. I could see something like this at, like... $6.99 and they would do probably the 40% off. Um, maybe, nah, probably $6.99 is what I would see. Maybe even $4.99, I guess. Somewhere in that range and then 40% off. But this was $1.71 and I thought it was super cute. 
So again, like I said, I will link these items down below so that you can make a decision on your own of whether or not something you want to get. Um, and these, like obviously, <laughs> I'm not a, um, Timu is not sponsoring this. So this is just, I'm trying out Timu and seeing their prices. There has been some things that have been super great, like this shirt that I have on. I have worn this thing, obviously, a lot. I actually got chlorine on it from outside. Um, but I've washed it. I mean, I washed it inside out, obviously. But otherwise, it's been a, like, it's a super comfy shirt. It's good quality. Like, I absolutely love it. It's my comfy shirt. Uh, I actually bought a outfit that people have made comments on. It's a, a like, a romper. And I paid, like, $3 and some change for it. I think I've worn that thing now five or six times this summer and obviously I've washed it. It is held up within the wash machine. Like I absolutely love that. If there was anything that I would change is that it had pockets. If it had pockets, I would be super ecstatic. And also I did order another one of those rompers because they have them on sale again for $3 and 49 cents again. Um, the one I got this time has got like black and white stripes and then black on top. So I'll be doing those reviews. I'm just trying to do my stuff a little separate instead of it all being just a collage of stuff. So this is just kind of my little fall review. This next item I want to show you is not something that I'm super excited about. I'm actually very disappointed in because the pictures do not, they did not do justice because the pictures looked amazing and then, I don't know, it just looks kind of dirty and stale to me. But I got this wreath. Yeah, see? And it's falling apart as I'm talking to you. This wreath is awful. Like I have this wicker, whatever stuff you want to call this, this branch material right here, all over my lap. It's all over on the desk. It is everywhere. This stuff is messy. And it's just, like I said, it's just everything's falling apart on it. Like right here is one of the stems off the pumpkins. It's just, uh, it's, I mean, it's not awful. The colors are not terrible, but it's just not my cup of tea. Um, I just think that it, like I said, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna fall apart pretty quickly because I have so much of it already on my lap, but there's a lot going on here and I just don't think it's on there very well. I think they just kind of maybe lightly glued it. Some of it, they didn't even glue. It's just stuck into the, the, this wicker branch stuff. They just kind of stuck it down in there. So I guess you could move stuff around, I suppose, if you wanted to, but this is the, wreath like i said i will put it in the description below so that if you see it and you're like oh my god it's beautiful because it does have a lot of like cool colors in it but they're just very dull this thing looks very dusty it looks like it's been sitting for a while i'm just not a huge fan of it and honestly i'm probably not going to use it this will probably go to goodwill so somebody else can maybe use it and enjoy it if they want but this will not be staying here because i don't i don't like it at all so anyways this is one of the wreaths. Again, I will have it linked in the description. So that is it really for my fall haul decorations from Timu. I will not be ordering any more fall haul from Timu either um, because I just don't think that the quality is there. I'd rather take a trip to Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, um, any of those other stores to just get a better quality. If I gotta pay a little more, I gotta pay a little bit more. If that way, then if it lasts me, cause I'm, I'm not one to buy a lot for every season. Um, I actually, I think Christmas this year, I don't think I'll really have to buy a whole lot, but you never know. Anyway, so that's it for my Timu haul, um, fall Timu haul. So I will be back with some more though. I do have a lot more Timu items that I do want to review on that. There was some really good stuff that I've ordered from Timu. So I do want to share those. Um, you just have to be careful. Just remember if it's cheap, there's probably a reason why it's cheap because there's some things I bought, like some shoes. There are some boot shoes I bought, and I think they're very great quality shoes, and I think that they'll last me a long time. Super cute, very fashionable, but they weren't really that cheap. They actually were pretty close to what I would have paid on Amazon, so I don't think that they were totally, I mean, they were probably maybe 5 or $10 cheaper than what I probably would have got on Amazon, so I saved myself a little money, but anyways, enough ranting. That is my fall Timu haul. I will see you guys in my next review. Bye.